This segment of Dead Down Wind's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. At one time in the not-so-distant past, it was considered unmanly to shoot a doe. But now, with clearer understanding of proper deer management, it is not only necessary to shoot does to strengthen the health of your herd, but it also makes you a better hunter. And what better animal is there to try to take when you're introducing kids or a first-time hunter to the sport of deer hunting? Today, we're hunting with Glenn and Nathan Longabaugh where Nathan will do his best to help strengthen their deer herd. Glenn started taking his son to the woods when Nathan was just eight years old. At that time, it was quite a challenge for both of them. But today, the same challenge still exists. The major challenge, notwithstanding Nathan's age, is Nathan's physical challenges. You see, Nathan was born with spina bifida and is paralyzed from the waist down. But in the face of all odds, the team of Nathan and Glenn persevere and they've taken squirrels, ducks, turkeys, white-tailed deer, and even a buffalo. In fact, from the first year Glenn started Nathan hunting, Nathan has put a deer on the ground every single season. Deer at times are masters of moving through the timber with almost invisible ease. This doe had approached without a sound from the opposite direction and from directly downwind. With a little help from Glenn, Nathan got his gun repositioned and then it was go time. As Glenn got Nathan into what he refers to as a longa ball rickshaw, he couldn't help but be proud of what Nathan and he had accomplished over the last several years. And once again this morning, we'd celebrate another victory in the woods together, as not only father and son, but also as hunting partners. There she is, buddy. That's a dandy, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a dandy here, buddy. Yep. Is. How many does does this make for you? Um, I think it's 11. There you go. Five on that. You know, there are deer hunters and there are deer slayers. I'd say Nate pretty much falls under the category of <laughs> deer slayer, don't you? Nate? Yeah. Man, you know how cold it is out here right now? Around the 20s. No, it's actually, it was 16 when we came down here, Nate. It's probably dropped a little bit since. It's probably, I don't know, 10 or 12 degrees. That's why I'm so cold. If you can tough out the cold, there is no better time to take a deer, in my opinion, than during late season when there's snow cover and you're hunting a food source. The evening before, a storm rolled in, dumping several inches of snow, so school had been called off. When Glenn saw an opportunity for another great hunt with Nathan, he called off work and once again Team Longabaugh was in the woods with quality deer management on their minds. As the afternoon slowly faded into evening, deer just kept piling into the field. This was definitely turning into the hunt that Glenn and Nathan thought it would be. Even though there had been deer in the field in front of them almost immediately upon getting into the blind that afternoon, their goal this evening was to take one of the older does from the herd. So Nathan kept his finger off of the trigger and just enjoyed the encounter that nature was providing for them. That was until the doe they were looking for decided to feed into range and then give Nathan the shot he was looking for. All of Nathan's practice on the range paid off. The doe never made it out of the field. Right, man. Oh, she's down, man. She's down. She's down. She's down, man.
Nice dough, buddy. Oops. That's all right. Oh, nice dough. Oh, I tell you what. It's Friday afternoon. Nate's skipping school. Actually, it was a snow day. It's a snow day. <laughs> it's about 10 degrees. And uh, here it is, the second week of December. It's about time to start filling these dough tags. I think it was a smart call, man. Yeah. You ready to get in and show your mom? Yeah. 